Hello everybody, welcome to my first Polycraft video. My name is Andrew. I've been playing on Madgen's Polycraft server for, oh, probably two, maybe three months now. And I'm just going to show you a little around some of the things that I've been doing and um, just a little introductory video and to test to see how well Fraps runs on my computer and all that good stuff. So, here we go. Um, this is my first house. Um, it's nothing really much to look at, but, um, you know, it does the trick, and, uh, um, I'm not really much of a builder. I've only really, only really played survival single player before starting on Imagine server, so I don't have a lot of experience with building anything really grand. It was mostly playing when you're just a party of one is, uh, kind of different in terms of how much you put into the looks of things as opposed to uh, playing as a uh, you know as a group with other people who you know might be more creative than you might be more skilled or just uh, better <laughs> you know overall everybody on the server is much better builder than I and uh, I'm just kind of happy to kind of witness everything and be a part of it so yeah um, um, one of the things I want to show you is uh, some cool uh, now depleted armor that I had going and um, I guess I'll save this we're planning on fighting the the uh, ender dragon soon and I'll probably save this depleted armor for when we fight the ender dragon but this took me probably a solid month of you know pretty regular XP grinding to get this and I did it all with books it was in um, didn't really have to do didn't really do anything with a uh, random rolling of uh, these pieces of armor, not this one, um, yeah, not this one, but these four, uh, the unbreaking protection, respiration, and aqua affinity, um, that was, that was fun to have for a while, and, uh, yeah, the protection for, and the unbreaking is really, cause, uh, you know, it's really annoying, I find, to, you know, use so many diamonds on a chest plate, and it just, just doesn't last as long as, as it could, if you have unbreaking on it, and uh, I just really love unbreaking, so I really try to get as much of that as possible, but it is super hard to roll unbreaking books and unbreaking other things. It's just it's really frustrating. It's kind of like playing roulette, and not in a fun way, kind of in a I need to stop, this is getting out of hand kind of way. Um, so yeah, um, I've also picked up a couple of Wither Skulls so far. I've done that mostly with um, this sword, which I think I have stashed out here, I'm not sure. No, that's not it. It's actually this one that's in my high bar here. Is the knockback 2 sharpness with the looting 3. And again, rolling, unbreaking is not that likely, so... Actually, I don't even know if it's possible with the sword, so... Anyway, that's got an unbreaking 3 on it, and that has lasted me a really long time now. And uh, same with, not that one, but some of these other tools like this one I've had for a long time, and I really love it. Um, I had a really good bow that I accidentally threw. Well, I, had, I was being ambushed by multiple gas yesterday, and uh, in my panic, I had a full inventory. In my panic, I, uh, I managed to throw out my old bow. This is the new bow I made, which is pretty good. But the old bow is pretty similar, except it also had the Unbreaking 3 on it. And uh, the thing is just glorious. But, you know, sometimes bad things happen, but it was better to, you know, lose the bow and keep everything else, you know, even though, it, you know, it was unfortunate that I lost the bow. I, I should have been able to throw something else out of my, out of my inventory fast enough to uh, get to what I needed to survive, which was, you know, like a health potion or some food really quickly so that I could, you know, survive the, the gas uh, bombardment. And, uh, unfortunately, the bow is what went, and I couldn't find it after uh, I finally settled down and uh, got my health back up and got back to safety. So, anyway, this is QNL's territory, which I'm sure you've seen on some of Lisa's videos now. Um, we got a nice American flag. She showed off my Colorado State flag that was back there. Um, you know, so we're getting on the flags around here, and, uh, I think that's pretty cool because when, imagine, um, you know, he has some program that uploads a, a god view, a top view map of the game. And, uh, you know, that uh, you can see all the flags from, from space. So 
It's pretty cool. I'll run by, I think Lisa showed off this village, but I'll run by real quick because I don't think she got to uh, show off really the, uh, the dock area in the lighthouse, which I built um, probably around a month ago or so. And, uh, you know, they're not really uh, anything, you know, really fancy or anything like that, but I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. And uh, also the church uh, was something that Marie um, Balaclava, who uh, is, uh, also plays in QNL's territory, uh, something that she built, but uh, um, I decided to kind of tweak it a little bit, and uh, this was kind of closed off before I kind of opened it up, and uh, I, think it, I think it looks pretty cool now, and uh, it's kind of funny because I don't really know if I've ever been in a ch many churches in my life. Uh, it's probably been pretty rare for me. So, yeah, this is just a very simple lighthouse, you know, and uh, and I'm not really big on furnishing, it's something that uh, Marie actually is really good at furnishing things. Almost all the buildings that I build um, end up being pretty barren, as you saw my house, basically just te uh, chests, uh, that one table is just, uh, that's the only thing I can bring myself to make. And then this is my dock. Uh, there were more boats before, but they kind of seem to wander off. And, um, you know, I just have a thing kind of where I don't really like to make things float in Minecraft. You know, it's, of course you can make things float, but I always feel like it really takes away from the sense of realism of what you're building when it looks like it's floating in the air. So, as you can see, we have used both fence posts to kind of ground this, uh, this thing here. So it's not quite so, uh... I don't know, goofy looking. And uh, oh, by the way, my texture pack here is um, a texture pack called OCD. And uh, I've uh, personally tweaked this texture pack a little bit by adding um, the items back from uh, Faithful Craft. So they're kind of HD items. And of course, the blocks are still from OCD pack texture pack. It's just the items that I changed. Um, and I just think it looks really, really nice now. Um, there's probably a lot of people out there that really don't like this kind of OCD. I just, I just find it's really clean looking and, um, you know, kind of lets you... It kind of shows the territory off without any kind of visual distractions. And uh, I feel like it's really good for building, too, because you're not distracted by the, the noise of the, you know, the, 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 the aesthetics are simplified a little bit. So, and then this is my little bait shop uh, with some boats and some... Uh, should put some fish in here too. This needs some fish, but it's just fishing is really tedious, so um, almost nobody <laughs> really seems to want to do it. Um, so yeah, I like it. And the reason that's called Tiger Town there is because uh, the uh, the name of the town was named by Marie, and it's in Portuguese, but it um, it's something related to some some sad tigers, which is like tig tigres tristes, and I'm probably saying that wrong because. I don't know Portuguese, I do know a little Spanish, but something along those lines. Um, so I kind of just said Tiger Town because that's a little easier than this, uh, I guess it's a Portuguese tongue twister, which is what you put here, and I don't know if you're going to try. So yeah. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you off uh, a little bit of the nether area that I've kind of been sort of spearheading a little bit. I haven't done everything there, and I'll show you, but um, it's, uh, I'm pretty proud of what we've done over there, because um, Lisa didn't have anything built in the nether, really, um, so I just, you know, I like the challenge of, you know, you're building on top of lava, and I mean, it can be really challenging, but, um, you know, the buildings look badass when, uh, when you can build them over over lava and, uh, you know, make them look really imposing and, and uh, foreboding structures, which is uh, pretty cool. And like I said, yeah, haven't really been focused much on building anything in Minecraft prior to playing with these guys. Mostly, you know, I was kind of an explorer, kind of just really into caving, um, you know, into mapping. The only thing that I would really build as a structure would be, you know, like a giant uh, you know, a giant watchtower, you know, something as, as high as I could go and as big as I can make all out of stone bricks like this, you know, which wouldn't look very good, but it would serve a purpose, you know. As an individual alone in the game, you, you really take a different philosophy when it comes to, at least for me, I, 
I'm not a creative person really so for me it was all about just um, bare bones survival and just trying to trying to do what I could to survive so um, here's just sort of a different philosophy here um, and right here behind this door we have um, a piece of another fortress that um, a few of us have kind of carved out in the hopes of spawning some wither skeletons so we can get some wither skulls as you saw I got two of them already which is awesome and I'm super psyched about that because you know I single player I mean the odds that you're gonna get one in single player especially you know it's so much harder to get XP together in single player I feel like uh, maybe because I just never really bothered building spawners or anything like that um, yeah, I just never really it seemed kind of just yeah it wasn't my thing before this so it I've taken this opportunity which is why I have really cool stuff because playing single player I never had any cool stuff I mean the most I ever had was like a sharpness to knock back one iron sword and I was like, really excited when I would get something like that because just getting up to 15 levels by yourself is really tough and getting up to 30 without a spawner ooh I shouldn't have done that I guess I'm gonna have to kill him now I hope I don't die because that would be kind of embarrassing um, yeah I should have put on some more armor I am and they keep making fun of me they keep saying that I'm not wearing pants um, but you know screw them I don't know their pants are uncomfortable why not just you know, this is all you need. And, you know, maybe it's not all I need. Maybe I'll prove myself wrong and I'll die right here. Um, but anyway, so this area, the um, these four cornered areas of the um, nether fortress are supposed to be the ideal places for wither skeletons to spawn. And then supposedly they can also spawn on another layer down here. Though, I, since we've done this, I've yet to see one down here. And I've yet to really see any mobs down there, though other people have told me that they have seen them. Um, and really, just, this is, you know, at first, right after we started doing those, I, there were a ton of wither skeletons that I've killed um, in that area since we uh, mined it all out. But over the past week or two weeks, um, we just really haven't been getting any, or really any spawns. Ooh, that scared me. But I think I can kill you safely without taking any damage. And uh, so this is our nether fortress that we have, QNL land, um, and there's a blaze spawner up there, I'm not going to play with right now because you guys saw I'm a little bit more vulnerable. Oh, hello, oh my gosh, I better not die. And see, that is the awesome thing about the looting sword, is you can get right up against the gas, and if you can get your sword on that gas, you'll probably get at least one up to, well, four, that might be the most I've ever gotten, four gas tiers from one gas, and they like to come in here. I see one here, um, you know, pretty often, so that's a good little area, and I got, and again, with that looting two sword, I was able to get, you know, golden sword, which who cares about the golden sword? Hopefully this stuff doesn't bite at me. Probably not. I was too far away. You're not going to fight me, are you? You have an enchanted sword. I don't really want to mess with you. Not today. Another day. So then this is the uh, nether fort area, and this is my first building here. And uh, my intention in building this area was um, as a place to hunt gas, because um, if we're going to go do the, the uh, end battle, um, we're going to need lots of regeneration potions. And then eventually, if we ever do get to fighting a wither, definitely we'll need some regeneration potions. So the, the intention here was to build sort of an outpost from which to hunt gas as many as possible and uh, yeah and just kind of having a little area to do a resupply so there'd be kind of a safe place in the nether to get stuff and as you can see we've been pretty successful so far with the gas tiers that's you know I mean maybe three weeks probably a little bit more than eh, I'm not really sure at this point kind of forgotten how long we've had this building for now um, and yeah it was a nice little uh, brewing area and some your, all your basic tools, and I'll show you what's in my uh, ender chest here. Is uh, this is this is my emergency supply kit, and uh, every good Minecrafter has one, though they may disagree about what should be in it. And I uh, got you know the emergency bow that will last forever, some health potions and speed potions, and the silk touch for when you've got to pick up the ender chest again. And uh, you know, not all, but most of my diamonds are in here because you know I don't think anybody on this server would steal them, but hey you know always having diamonds handy is kind of nice so yeah and uh, the other thing about the design of this building here um, 
is that I designed this roof to be kind of easy to um, snipe from and uh, one of the features I guess you could say if you can call it a feature is the half slab above or next to the uh, fence post and that just gives a little bit more elevation you know as opposed to so if you see down here you know you have some amount but just that little extra boost uh, I think is really helpful and then if you're really caught in a bind you can jump over the, <laughs> the end and uh, maybe escape if a gas is getting on your business um, and then uh, up these stairs to the right here is uh, actually a place that Ubermarkler built um, right after I started here and I really like it um, he used a little bit more um, he made his building a little bit more attractive than mine and of course the nice block rays are always good and uh, I hope nothing bad comes to find me while I'm up here because I didn't take really that many supplies with me before this so he used a little bit more quartz than I did and uh, a little bit more glowstone I guess but yeah sort of the same idea a different take I would say on the same idea but I really like it and uh, you know it it's uh, it's function over form sometimes in Minecraft and the window this window is awesome um, it's a nice little touch to make it uh, more interesting to look at and then uh, I'll show you uh, my third or well my second but the third building in this area um, which I've just completed um, pretty proud of it um, and like I said I don't really furnish anything so maybe someone else will be kind enough to donate some furniture to my cause um, another reason I chose this particular spot was there was two big lakes of lava right here and I kind of wanted to have a nether smelting area so quick access to lava of course is great and uh, let's see here yeah so that's the building from far away um, I was kind of going for sort of a uh, you know, basically I got tired of building everything square and I decided, well, you know, let's I should really try Andrew to to branch out a little bit and uh, build things that aren't quite square and it's, I mean, it's still made of squares you know, I mean, everything in Minecraft is made of squares um, but this is, I, I guess what I mean is that I don't put curves in my buildings because I haven't mastered that art yet so, you know use a little bit more design in here and added the nice uh, carved quartz which has a skeptical on for a while but it does look good and uh, it's just basically three floors like that with these um, branches coming off for I guess for observation purposes so you can uh, look out at the nice uh, lava that's all around beautiful deadly lava And then again, um, the intention is always here, or not always, but <laughs> sometimes you, you try to get away from them, but to be able to snipe gas easily, though, since this building is mostly over lava, um, it's not really that ideal for getting gas, because you won't get the tears, which is what we want. So, and then this floor is actually, um, you can't tell the texture pack really uh, hides it well, but it's actually two layers of glass there. Um, because obviously when I was building it was really dangerous um, but even still I'm kind of a, I have a little bit of paranoia about just dying in Minecraft in general because when you die in Minecraft in general you know when you die um, especially <laughs> in lava um, you know everything you've had on you everything you've worked for you know you can lose so much like this I'd be so devastated if I lost that sword you know and I will eventually sooner or later I will lose it and uh, you know me probably not before it's fully depleted because I'm kind of clumsy as I told you about the uh, s the situation with my old bow last night so um, keep it around for as long as you can and uh, try not to die as l much as possible is my philosophy and then this uh, path here, I'm not sure if it was uh, Non, Nonison, or, um, or Ubermarkler who built that path. And then they uh, had a portal because they found a village out a ways where we don't have anything built yet. Um, and I 
hardly ever really been here except to take a quick peek around. So, I guess I'll sh I don't think this has been in any videos yet. Um, it's your typical, typical uh, computer generated village. Uh, but it's got a lot of iron golems. And, uh, you know, it had a forge, I suppose. Yeah, so it's a pretty nice village. Um, I actually, around the same time that they found this one, I found another one, but it was, it was probably the smallest possible village. I think it had one house, one, um, blacksmith area, um, a well, and maybe one other building, and that's a maybe, so it was only two to three, uh, four max structures, and that's definitely one of the smallest villages that I've ever seen. Um, now I don't really remember where it was, so... Hopefully I'll stumble upon it again one day, because I sure as heck can't find it um, in our long uh, Polycraft-related Skype chat. Uh, so I'm just going to show you guys one more thing real quick. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm going in the right direction or not. I think I am. Oh, am I? No, I'm not. I sort of am. I forget that that uh, path that, um, from the nether area to back to civilization, as that sign said, um, uh, didn't go between QNL's portals. It went between the home pro the zero zero portal and QNL's closer portal. This is back right where we were before. Kind of did a big circle there. Um, and I kind of finished off this area in here with a little bit more carved quartz and lava, glorious lava. So I will show you guys my two little houses I built here. Um, and uh, this was back probably in my first couple weeks of being on the server. Um, I was sort of interested at the time in doing some kind of I guess, m you know, 20th century modern style houses. I'm not sure if that's really the architecturally correct term, um, but just something a little bit more, um, you know, in a modern, uh, contemporary, I guess, style. So these are my two attempts, and uh, nothing really fancy. And they're also, as noted by a few people, they're really small on the inside. Um, it could probably be made a little bit more space efficient or maybe just adding some furniture even if we made it look smaller would give the building more depth somehow I don't know <laughs> that's kind of a crazy notion so and uh, I really this is one part that I really like is just this patio area and with the glass above just uh, I wish my house looked like that it would be really cool um, nice place to sit and uh, watch the world go by and uh, I yeah, a few other touches, just a little mosaic wood floor. I'm not even sure mosaic is quite accurate, but, you know, a little bit of extra color to make the things I build look less boring, because I'm not used to making things not look boring, so sort of have to push the extra effort in. Um, and, uh, I guess, uh, I don't, you guys have probably seen some of, uh, uh, Nanasin's, uh, area in Lisa's videos, but, um, I'm not sure if she actually took a recording of the, uh, Enderman, which is something that Nan and I did. Oh, look, someone put a pumpkin on his, uh, you know, his mid-size, mid-rift area. Hmm. Cough, cough. Um... <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny. I wonder who did that and, and you know, why. But uh, anyway, it took a really long time to get the Enderman to look anything remotely like an Enderman. And I'm still not really convinced it does. Oh, I really like the way it looks with the texture pack, too. Um, and just Nonison's house is just awesome. He's done a great job. He's really just got a good eye for building and stuff like that. So... And he's got a cute mushroom. I like the mushroom. Kind of matches the brick of his house somehow. Complements it. And then he, this is something that he's been working on the past couple days is uh, this 
sort of balcony area. Um, eventually the idea is over in that direction. We're going to do a fireworks display, or he's going to do a fireworks display, and we're going to watch and, you know, drink some beers, watch some fireworks, you know, maybe, you know, maybe the 4th of July. Who knows? We'll see how things turn out. Um, I don't know if necessarily I want to be playing Minecraft on the 4th of July, but hey, you never know. Maybe I'll break a leg or something. Um, that would give me a good excuse. And uh, this area, this walled area here, um, sort of still in discussion about what to do with it. Originally we were going to do a temple, now maybe we're going to do, oh, we were going to, I'm sorry, originally we were going to do a village, now we're probably going to do some kind of temple. Not sure what yet. Something really cool, and uh, I mean, I was kind of suggesting that the fireworks should be shot off between this area and the temple, so the temple was kind of the backdrop, but, um, yeah, you know, there's, that, there's a few different options to go with that. So, uh, this is, uh, Uber was showing Nonison and I just how to make sort of curved shapes um, using, uh, I don't have the website handy, but using a website that uh, calculates uh, curves for you in blocks, um, or pixels rather, it's all blocks, so you can make nice structures like this though. We're not quite happy with this, We're probably going to tweak it a little bit more. Um, out that way is the creeper trap, which Lisa showed you guys, and um, I'm not going to show off Nan's house too much because it's not really mine to show. Um, let's see uh, I'm not sure if any of the videos have shown off um, the spider, well, you know, I think we'll leave the spider trap for now, because maybe, uh, maybe, uh, Nanasin wants to, wants to, uh, demonstrate that, so, or maybe it's already been shown, I'm not really sure, I haven't watched every single thing that every single person has made, especially Mad Jin, as they weren't on anywhere on the internet for a month really and uh, you know if I'm spending all my time watching Mad Jin's videos then I'm not playing and if I'm not playing then I can't make videos um, or I just can't play so I want to play more than I want to watch other people play which is ironic because now I'm recording this video um, but yeah a little bit of both is nice um, so yeah I think I'll leave it there for now um, I really hope this video turns out good, um, and I hope to do it again soon, if it does. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time.